And you're welcome. Yeah. This is, of course, what's up and about. It's Monday. What's up? Yeah, that's what we're doing, yeah. Hi, ladies, once again. Now, we have a very interesting, uh, let's say, topic today because we're going to be talking about Titi's husband. Wow. Mm. Really? Mm. Mm. Why? Mm. Because the Oscars <laughs> sit down in land well. <laughs> you were, you were, you were trying. You've been trying to make that joke. I've been work really trying to show. But it did work though. It, it worked on the group. I won't even it lie. It worked on the WhatsApp <laughs> on the group. It, it was funny. Did? Yeah. It just Thank you very much. It was I'm funny. Serious. At least it was funny in text. <laughs> <laughs> well, we it's get the Oscars it all the every. Time. It's the Oscars every day. Maybe for you should have yes, said it, it the way you wrote it. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, that's why I will never work when it comes to stand up. If you're wondering what he's talking about, he's talking about the Academy Awards. Yes, indeed. And that is it. Just just ended a few hours ago, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it was what an opportunity an for, of course, the best of the best of Hollywood to mm. come out in their usual glam, glitz and glam, and uh, take home their trophies. What was your... Uh, um, how did you see the list of winners? What did you think about um, List of winners... Uh, so I, I know there's been a lot of inclusivity and all that stuff happening over the past few years. Yes, yeah, but this year? Uh, this year, I think they sort of put that on the table, mm -hmm. yeah, well, on the back burner, mm -hmm. and they just went straight for, for art. For the art, yes. Yeah. Oh, um, I like that. And I don't think anyone's going to call them out for that mm -hmm. because the actors that picked up those awards are really well deserving. Let's talk about the awards. Seven yeah. awards. All of seven awards went to Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Yeah. What an affair for it was mm -hmm. the Oppenheimer Oscars. Let's yeah. put it so. They won so many, so yeah. much. Uh, what? Uh, let's see. Best so, picture. Best picture. Uh, best actor. Best supporting. Um, best supporting yeah. actor. Mm -hmm. um, uh, quite a so lot. many. Quite a lot. long list. Quite a lot. Um, now, when, when it comes to movies like that, especially movies about true stories, essentially, well, it's, it's a f fictional story about something that actually happened. Um, the, the person who invented the atomic bomb, mm. that's the focus of the movie. And uh, they say, they kind of try to make it seem like we're living in an Oppenheimer world, post-atomic bomb world, uh, which sort of changed everything mm -hmm. in terms of warfare. Um, and the rules of the game um, across the world. So when you think about it, you have to depict that movie really well. If you don't get it right, you will, you get it wrong. Winfrey, what did you think about mm -hmm. Oppenheimer Day? Um, I think it was, I mean, it, definitely it was well-deserved because mm -hmm. I mean, the execution of the movie mm -hmm. itself was actually very detailed. Mm -hmm. I mean, coming, I mean, from his personal life mm -hmm. to yeah. the work life, the relationship yeah. with other people, yeah. even the feuds here and there, subtle yeah. and otherwise. So I think, yeah, of course, it was definitely um, a movie that actually deserved as much attention as it got. Yeah, yeah. Right? Congratulations. Yeah. Cillian, 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 Cillian Murphy. Cillian Murphy. Cillian Murphy. Congratulations. Robert Downey Jr., whom I thought had an Oscar from before. No. Nope. I not know that he hadn't gotten an Oscar since. Yeah. He's been nominated three times. Yeah. Was such a good actor. No. Yeah, nominated three times. But you know, he had a lot of issues. Yeah. Well, before. yeah, then they were, had, yeah. I think, was it substance, substance abuse Arrest, issues from back? This, yeah. that, and everything. Yeah, and no. he was taken out of Hollywood. Him. It, it, Iron Man cool. didn't give him the Oscar he thought he was going to get. Was, was there was, was another good. role as well he thought he was going to get one for, but he didn't. Mm. But uh, congratulations to him. I wanted to talk yeah. about my next best movie for 2023, Killers of the Flower Moon. People have been slipping on that movie. Mm. I don't know why you haven't seen it. Maybe it's a bit too drawn out and long for people, but it's mm. such a fantastic movie. Okay. And um, that one, uh, what did that win again? Killers of the Flower Killers, Moon. Um, I'll find it. I'll find I, it. I'm looking for it. Um, can't find it, but it's such a fantastic movie. Mm -hmm. Do help me look for it. I will it's definitely such a fantastic movie that I was like, I hope that they get an Oscar themselves, and that, mm -hmm. and and and, and they, they did. They did. It's yeah. such a beautiful thing. I'm like, uh, well, uh, hey, this year's Oscars, yeah, the winners are what I thought that they would be. Yeah. So, um, so a lot of people had their eye out for Barbie, you know, mm -hmm. and there was this online, there was this um, Oppenheimer versus Barbie thing mm -hmm. going yes. on for a long yes. time. Yes, because they were actually released about yeah. the same period. Exactly. Same, week, same like time. So a lot of people, mm -hmm. I, because I have a movie group, yeah. and then they actually do that thing, and they yeah. watch movies and then compare and contrast. Yeah. But yeah. Um, so Barbie was a strong contender, yeah. extremely strong. But Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer eventually came out on top. Mm -hmm. Once you take the Oscars, you take it. You've yeah. taken everything. So um, that's best be cinematography. Yes. Um, actually, that went to wait, no, no. That went to Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Again. Best, best directing was Oppenheimer as well. Best costume design was mm -hmm. Poor Things. I have not seen Poor, poor Things, mm -hmm. so I'm, but I'm I'm not sure about that. The one. amazing thing about Poor Things is the person that won. Um, okay, so she, they won hairstyling, they won uh, costuming, mm -hmm. and everything. And 
I, I was just so enamored by um, the winner of Best Actress. Now, Best Actress went to Emma Stone, mm. and she has been so from from she's she started off with sort of comical girly movies, mm. and really evolved over the years. And she finally got that Oscar, not by looking extra, extremely beautiful, but by taking on a role that was yeah. so out of sorts mm -hmm. that you had to just, you had to sit back and just wonder, hey, who is this person? <laughs> um, I think that's the idea and, 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 and the, that's when you appreciate the arts of yeah. like what they do mm -hmm. and all of that. It's not about the pretty role, it's not about yeah. the most popular scenes mm -hmm. and all of that. It's literally about the one that literally puts you in the game and takes you out of your normal like mm -hmm. comfort yeah. and takes you out there. And I think that definitely um, the movie she wanted so for I literally step, did. I want to step away from the Oscars for, for a bit. Mm -hmm. And I realize how excited we always are when it comes to the Oscars or yeah. the, uh, which are the American awards? Are uh, the Emmys. The Emmys and yeah. all that. We're yeah. always so excited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we this excited about our very own? Why do you have mm -hmm. to go that? What? And I'm, I'm asking, when are we Why? going to get to that place where we are this excited about it? Where I it's think an we, international when it comes affair to because of our contributions to art worldwide. Afro. I think the AMVCA is quite mm. exciting. Yeah. Yes, I would MVC, say that yes. compared to the music industry now. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, very when you true. see our music, when you see our music guys, you're literally always looking for the international awards, international. Yeah. I'm, I was wondering, like, why, is, why are we not asking why didn't Nigeria? What well, we didn't put any. Did we submit? <laughs> you know, perhaps we didn't submit this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, perhaps, you know, perhaps, yeah. You know. and all of that. So the other years we've been trying to get in, get in, mm. get in. So I got, I guess this year we probably are deciding to focus on our own mm. and literally making ours. To literally perhaps. be what it, it would is. have and been, I, it would definitely be a great thing it, because you never see any yeah. of them literally fighting or struggling to literally be a part of this, and yeah. that's what we need to start appreciating and celebrating. I literally think we are getting there, for I think we are getting there, but I think we needed things like Afrif mm -hmm. and the like to mm -hmm. build our film industry internationally speaking mm -hmm. on that scale first before we started thinking about you know things like the Oscars. Mm -hmm. I know that we have thrown some movies in there before, we even had some Nigerian actors mm -hmm. that are on yeah, the panel of the Academy Awards. Of but the truth is, there are so many amazing movies out there all over the world talking yes. about Asian movies, which have yes. always been amazing. I talk, look, at, look at what they're doing in Korea now. Look at, yeah. you know, we're looking at the Korean movie industry now, we're looking at the Indian movie, even the Australians are doing amazing. Yeah. So I, I watched a Russian show on a streaming platform mm -hmm. and I was glued. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, wait, why hadn't I tried Russian cinema before? Mm. Is it just a mental block mm. against, mm. you know, other countries like that? That's a Putin. I, I, uh, <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> no, but I, that is, I, I think mind. the world is now being more yeah. inclusive, mm. right, of like other movies aside American movies. Yeah. You really see the Asians just taking a big step and yeah. stepping into that mm -hmm. space. And then we can see what that is even doing for their actors yeah. being involved in like Hollywood productions and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I think it's the same thing that will happen for us. I mean, we've seen, I mean, a few of us literally be featured in that, but then it has to, when it has to do with African stories, yeah. right? So I, I feel what um, the Western world is doing is they're trying to step into different cultures and then mix it up with whatever they have going on, which is actually an amazing thing. Mm -hmm. So I feel, to be honest, not too long ago, we'll, rather not too long away, mm -hmm. we'll literally start seeing... Um, yeah. Look at the uh, animated board. movie that just came out. Iwaju. Yeah, Iwaju, Iwaju uh, you know, voiced by Nigerians mm -hmm. um, and, and produced mm -hmm. in conjunction with Disney, a Nigerian company I'm in conjunction with... So yes. th what if that got a nomination? Mm -hmm. What if for next year? I mean, it next came year? out. Yeah, for it's next possible. year. It's possible. It's possible. There's a possibility. Yeah. Yes. You know, so you have to really think big and understand how large all those uh, movies actually are. Like, yeah. on the scale I mean, of Oppenheimer... It took them, I think, two years to produce that movie. Mm -hmm. So do we do... So that's, like so, that so that's another yeah. thing as well, mm -hmm. the effort we put in here. But then again, we think about where Nigerian movies are coming from. Yeah. We'll say we've taken a great leap towards yeah. like advancements, right? Yeah. However, we're still lacking when it comes to certain things. But I, I feel with the likes of um, Funky Akindale's movie that yeah. literally came out and she had like a whole lot like... Um, um, I mean, a attention, accolades a and attention. Yeah. I feel th <laughs> those are the kind of movies that will probably start getting us this kind of recognition, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe, right? Yeah. If it's because definitely a lot of us thought it was based on PR. I will tell you something, however, but, while we are advancing when it comes to our movie, yeah. movies, <clears throat> if you are going to submit a movie to the Oscars um, from Africa, it mm -hmm. has to be a certain quota of it must be 
in an indigenous, in an language. indigenous language. Yeah. And so, I think it's a beautiful thing. Of, yeah. From all of last year, I think there's only one movie that I saw, uh, so, and which was, that I can, that was really big, and that was, uh... Anikulako, or which one? Anikulako was, it was Yoruba, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there was also no, the other one. How many movies? Like, then, uh, Queen watch? Amina. I was expecting at least these would be submitted, but mm. you know, yeah. so it yeah. seemed like they were. Yeah. So that that's, that's not the only criteria now. When you think about there are others. that, there are other a, lot of, others. a yeah. whole lot of other criteria is literally that. that I was going to say, yeah. when you think about it, think about it like this. Tom Cruise Mission Impossible was nominated and didn't win. Oh, no, but it's. It, it, I'm They're not. Done. I'm the not. Is done. No, I'm but not, that's what I'm saying. Wow. Yeah. If someone so how is that great, to, no, I'm just not, saying he, he he had the amazing sound effects. No, Tom Cruise effects. is great. Forget sound effects. I think it's the visual movie. effects, <laughs> right? And even cinematography to a certain extent. Oh really? Yes. I thought it was all CGI. Mission Impossible did an amazing job. Did it? Yes. I wouldn't know. I've only seen one tenth of it. Wow. <laughs> I couldn't. But take the it. issue is, if Tom Cruise has one one, with all the efforts. With all the broken bones, uh, broken yeah, I wouldn't say we have a war. We have a way to go. To be very uh, honest, yeah. right? Well, in any case, mm. tell us what you think about the results from the Oscars. <laughs> how yeah. far um, it uh, came close to your expectations? Yeah. We would like to know. You want to use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC? Yeah. And we would see it. Would read it. Would perhaps maybe even have another conversation over it. <laughs> Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. It's a Monday here, and of course, we're here to help you through that. We'll be back. <laughs>